Thanks for the mashed potatoes. You're welcome. Nothing like some potatoes. Yeah. How long did this take to make? Oh, I think I started cooking a little before four. Hmm. Wow, it's late, isn't it? It's almost six. <laughs> well, I had to yeah, it is late. Potatoes, and I had to wait for the meat to cook. This is some good fruit. Why did you like it? <clears throat> so what did you do today? Well, I was trying to... I did I updated my resume and sent it to two different places. And I s uploaded some information for my students as a review. And then I was going through some pictures, trying to print some pictures for Grandma. And I was printing some, but then it, the printer got kind of weird. Are these uh childhood pictures? Well, all kinds of different pictures, yeah. Someone me and my when my sisters were little, kind of little. I mean, they were teenagers, twenty maybe. And I have one of my mom and my dad when they got married, but I couldn't make it the color print correctly. And then I started cleaning out the pantry cupboard. What's the pantry cupboard? Well, you know, that's where our food is. Hmm. Did you find any food that was expired? Yeah, a little bit. How much was it expired by? Because you can eat food that's <laughs> past the expiration date. Just uh, make sure you don't eat something that smells bad and tastes bad. Hmm. That was expired by a couple years. A couple years? <laughs> Well, what was it? Some salad dressings. Hmm. That was sealed up. Oh, yeah, you still have to use those seasonings I got for making dip. Well, we can do that. Do you have sour cream? Mm, no. What are we putting in it? Half sour cream and half mayonnaise? Yeah. Mm. That's it. Just need some sour cream, I guess. Hmm. Good. So you said you make the mashed potatoes with milk and butter? Yep, with the mi the mixer, electric mixer, and just potatoes, and I guess I could put some pepper on there. Pepper? But I didn't. You mean the seasoning? On the mashed potatoes. What would pepper do for the mashed potatoes? Well... Just give it a little seasoning, is all. Hmm. I think I'm going to finish organizing that pantry cupboard tonight. Well, I missed the kill shot for um, the Black Widow convoy, but not the Red Monarchy one. Hmm. An important thing to realize, mm, this is a multiplayer game. Oh. So, uh, there's real people. You you encounter real people in the game. Oh. Who are you playing with? The strangers. I don't personally know anyone. Hmm. On the game. As in, I've never seen anyone 
who plays the game in real life, except obviously for those I invited. Wow. Hmm. Which is you, Dad, and a librarian. Oh. Well, that's good. On the college campus. I hope missing the kill shot doesn't give you a bad reputation. Well, probably not. You were just busy. That. And, um, the green witch meantime is used. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's good. It's accepted as a universal time zone. That's good. I'm glad I got some spell manuals out of that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, me too. Do you have more meatloaf? Lots. How much did you make? Two small meatloafs worth. <laughs> Two small meatloafs. Yeah. And how much is that in pounds? Well, right, at least maybe two and a half pounds. Why? Hmm. Well, that sounds pretty good. And I still have enough to make tacos. Meatloaf tacos? Well, taco tacos. I think meatloaf tacos sounds like a great idea. Hmm. What are they going to do? Just grab some meatloaf and shove it in the thing? Yeah. Do you think we could go to Wegmans and get some sour cream? Although, we probably have to get some more substantial ingredients. Maybe. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Do you have a gas mask? No, I meant a medical mask. I think I might have just some plain mask out in the garage. That might be good for when we go out to Wegmans. Gotta be courteous. I think so. Though those could also probably be donated. I hear there's a shortage of masks. Mm -hmm, that's true. Have you heard any recent news? Yeah, I guess so. I usually watch the news at noon and six. So you'll be watching the news again soon. Why, is it almost six? I think. Isn't that oven clock an hour <laughs> yes, early? It <laughs> yes, it is. What does it mean when a when the time is an hour slow versus an hour fast. What do you mean? It just means it's off. Yeah. By an hour. I think if it's one hour fast, it's the real time is one hour behind. Oh. And when it's one hour slow, the yes. real time is one hour ahead. Yes, you are right. That's what I think. No, you're correct. Isn't it? Um, it's kind of amazing... That when I was in Italy, my morning was different from yours. Uh, yes, it was. Though, of course, there's a simple explanation behind that. Yeah, there's a time difference. Yeah. The sun, the sun's light rays only light up part of the earth at a time. Yeah. 
did you know that <clears throat> me and your dad missed our flight home from our honeymoon because we because of the time change? Time change? Yeah, because we were down in Puerto Rico, and the, it was when we were the day we were flying home. It was the time change in our country, and we were the night before we were watching a sporting event from America, and it said, "Remember to turn your clocks." back so we didn't realize that puerto rico didn't change their time back because we didn't realize we because we were watching an american show and so we thought we had an extra hour <laughs> and we missed our flight home oh puerto rico doesn't do daylight savings right and we didn't realize that because we were watching tv and they told us to change our clocks back so we missed our flight, so then we had to change our tickets and get new flights home. So your dad only got about... Not, and the last flight to Rochester was a small little rickety, rickety plane that was making a lot of noise. And we were really nervous. <laughs> hmm. If I remember correctly, the plane that took me from Rochester to Newark, the one you booked for me, was a small plane... And uh, it was exciting watching the plane take off. Was it? Yeah. That's good. Hmm, the one getting you down to Newark. Not the one coming home. What? The, the one going down to Newark or the one coming back to Rochester? I think both. It was small. Mm -hmm. And the one that took me from Newark to Germany... Let's see. I believe I was taken to Munich on the way to Italy. And on the way back, it was to Frankfurt. Wow. So, I went to two different cities in Germany. That sounds nice. And you know, <laughs> Europe isn't that much different from the United States. Though, of course, there are some considerable differences. Oh, yeah? The drinking age is 18 instead of 21, so huh. I had some alcoholic beverages. I know you did. When I was in Italy and Greece. Did they make you feel weird? Mm. Only at one point did I get a warm feeling <laughs> in my yeah. cheeks, I think. <laughs> oh, dear. I know that, I know that I had a, when that occurred, I had a beverage, alcoholic beverage that was pear flavored. Hmm. Interesting. And it was at a bar that was intentionally secretive because it was trying to catch that vibe of... When you would kind of drink in secret during the Prohibition. Even though the Prohibition, only, according to my knowledge, only occurred in the United States during the 1920s. Huh. There was no Prohibition in Greece, according to my knowledge. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. I got an A for that study abroad trip. I'm glad. Me too. That's wonderful. Yeah. I don't think it was such a great idea for me to not go f immediately go for that um, damage boosting strategic point. I believe it's called Victorious Courage. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not too knowledgeable about video games. Understandable. <laughs> What's your earliest memories regarding video games? Hmm. Your father used to play them a lot when we were going out and when we were married, but that's really about all. I never really was good at them. You mean uh, going to the arcade? Oh, 
No, actually, when I before I knew your dad, I used to go over in Whitesville. They had a little arcade, <clears throat> and I used to go over and play Pac-Man, but it was a big machine that stood up on the floor. A big machine? Mm-hmm. It had, like, the joystick thing. Why was it a big machine? Back in those days, they, it wasn't really the age of the computers yet. True. So... That's, that was our option if we wanted to play a game. I understand the simpler games, but... I play games on Congregate because I like to collect the badges. I'm currently playing Decision Medieval because I want to get the hard badge for 100% completion. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Sounds awesome. I'll be sure to listen to the online lecture for my ethnics in criminal justice class at one point. Yeah, would you, so your teacher just taped himself talking? Essentially. Hmm. Well, that's good. I have to make a decision on what I want to do in my Senate job from home. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What are your choices? Well, hmm, I've been working on an OER brochure for some time now. Hmm. I should probably finish that first at some point. Oh. And um, I expressed a uh, me wanting to make a series of videos to inform the students on important topics using Beyond. I should have plenty of time for that now, but... Oh, there's something called Beyond where you can make videos? That's the current name of the program you initially got me back in 2013 when it was called GoAnimate. That's the program I used oh. to make all my Dan Hamming videos. Oh, so you can use that same program to give a speech or a lecture to your students? Yeah, I used it to get a 100 on my AP Psychology final and to get an A in my study abroad program. Oh, do you use animated people or do you use yourself? I click and drag pre-made assets. Though, for the characters, you can make custom ones. Huh. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah, I think so. Wow. I should hire you to make some skill videos for my students. Skill videos? Or some kind of, yeah, some kind of ed educational video so they can pass their test. Wouldn't these be on nursing, though? Yeah. Hmm. I could probably try and make some informative <laughs> videos. You would just have to give me the information. Hmm. Yeah, i got to think of some different things for my students when they get back to school. I'm trying to keep them occupied now. 